welcome to Loving, Loving Life. Life. And today we're eating butternut squash with goat cheese on top. Mm -hmm. yum, 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 yum. Pickled lettuce. Yeah, I know. It's uh, fermented. It's properly fermented lettuce. Chicken. Drumsticks. Drumsticks. Spicy one. And borscht. So let's get started. Woohoo! And welcome back. Let's get dig in. Yep. Yum, yum. Okay. Piece of goat cheese on the side. Was calling mm. my name. It's another one that's calling my name. Yeah, she asked. It, 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 it was your idea to put it all top. Not about even? Oh, I thought to do a couple of this and take piece by piece. Right. Whatever, whatever, whatever you whatever you prefer. 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 My darling. Your queen. My queen. Yeah. Queen. Regina. Yeah, right. If you don't know, Regina in Latin means queen. Yeah. So actually, in the um, when we go to England, and on the coins, um, in the back it says Regina, blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. So the Regina is the title, means queen. And you know, a lot of people remember us as Regina Victoria, and huh? no one remember whose name is whose, like uh... like Queen Victoria. Mm hmm. Mm. To get you some fat on there. Goaty cheese on top. Hot. Who's got? Who's hot? Mm. Hot. Oh, you took some. I took some. Oh, okay. Uh, Thank you, Anya. I didn't see. Mm. By the way, butternut squash is the only squash that you can actually eat the peel. The skin? The skin. Really? So, yeah, don't want. Don't. If you do soups, why I love to to use butternut squash in soups and not uh, pumpkin, even though I love the flavor of the pumpkin. Because pumpkin you need to peel, and butter nut squash you don't. Mm, it's good. The only thing that you need to cut is the upper part and the lower part, and that's it. And the rest, and if you want, you know, to mix it with a hand blender and etc., it will be smooth and beautiful. So, just FYI. Mmm. 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 Mm. A bit of salt. And the garlic shoots inside as well. Yummy. And some salad. You know I didn't put it in my plate because then it um, leaks juices. I need something. Oops. Probably I shouldn't have, but it's it's. I want something sourish with a um, sweet pumpkin. I just eat from here. Mm. What the thing about the chicken? Mm. Good. I make it teeny weeny spicy. What did you put inside? You know what? I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you put that pepper paste. Mm -hmm. So it was dripping. I was like, I know. Now I am obsessed with this pepper paste. I need to go and buy that until it's still here. Another one or two. That is correct because sometimes it was superstore, right? Mm -hmm. We get in our superstore some stuff. And then it vanish. Mm -hmm. So this one was very good. Actually, I did something like a tablespoon of this paste, added uh, sesame oil and five spice, and brushed it all over, and that's it. That's all I did. And it's so easy. It sounds easy, but the way you say it, it sounds fancy. Bra because of the brushing part, I guess? And the way you said it. It's like, oh, fancy. Okay, I brushed it on top. And five spice is Chinese, five spice. Um, so yeah, I, be, I bet you can get it online or you can get it in your local Asian market. Most of them carry the mix. It was a real mix. Favorite mix of the spices. 
so good. Mm -hmm. mm. Yum, 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 yum. Delicioso. I know. It's good, it's good. Yeah, so what are you having for your dinner today? Let us know. I just I want I want new ideas of dinners. By the way, this is good with feta cheese and as well. Just just say what's good. Both one. Oh, this is amazing with um, feta cheese because you know why feta cheese adds a bit of the saltiness component. Mm -hmm. It's really good. The manchu goat cheese is phenomenal too. But yeah, not everybody loves goat cheese. Mm -hmm. like some people it's too stinky, sort of. Goat cheese. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. This one is very big, as you see. It's a, it's a big uh, butternut squash, but sometimes you can get those smaller ones and then you can uh, make half per person, which is awesome. And it looks good. Mm -hmm. But this one half per person could be a bit too much. I think it's a lot too much for half per person. It's a big one. Mm -hmm. Some people put honey on top or some sweetener, but I think it's sweet enough as it is. It's perfect. Oh, the butternut? Mm -hmm. I, saw, I saw the recipes with walnuts. I think it will be uh, honey, brush it with honey, mixed honey and lemon or lime, brush it and walnuts on top and in the oven and it's like, you know. I don't know. No one's sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Interesting enough, my grandmother actually may, made um, baked it with sugar and it was type of dessert in their house, you know, after war. Oh. If they could get it, it was so, like they were so excited about it. So they placed small pieces of uh, pumpkin and put it in the oven with the sugar and it almost uh, brulleted, you know, like to make caramel on top. Mm. Please don't do it. I'm not going to. I don't want pumpkin brulee. But I think the people can enjoy it though. Oh, sure. Some people can enjoy it very much. People like sweet stuff. Mm -hmm. I personally much more prefer feta cheese or goat cheese on top. Yeah, and that's what they did after war as a dessert. Now what? I completely forgot about borscht. No attention spent. Zero. What you did today good? She did today a course about... Um, I had to do CPR and CPR. first aid course. So she did. I did. Eight hours. It was long. Mm -hmm. Not important. Yeah. It's important for your job. I did one in February, and it's good for three years. But since I switched jobs, they wanted it will be CPR and first aid, which, Apparently. mind you, this course uh, covered the previous course covered most of this course. It was just like this much more, but I still had to go and do it because I didn't send my certificate first aid. So anyway. Been a good girl when did that and 
Did you get your yeah, first certificate my... right away or it's uh, going to come to your... So they give a temporary certificate that's good for 30 days and then they're going to send the um, one for three years on email because they went all on email. We don't even get... Before when you go and paid for CPI, you even get a manual. So now they didn't even give us a manual. They said the manual is available online. So there you go. You can't even get a hard copy anymore. But I guess on some level... They saving trees, but true. But on other hand, uh, but a lot of people I think would love to have the CPR book so you can actually read it and you know it has colorful pictures. And I think hospital needs to have this, like at least in book form, because if something will happen to the electricity for a long time or something, you need or to internet or whatever, you know, you need it to have. You have to know hand. it. Yeah, but still, you know it. But it's good to refer to something. Mm -hmm. Because three years is a long time. Wonderful. But since I did two in one year, I think I'm good. Oh, I know. Yeah, so it was long. But the good thing about those courses is that they do really a lot of hands-on. I think that's the most important part. Mm -hmm. Because not all not just you know you use slides you actually them. need to exactly you don't use all the skills. Even in reality when you work in the hospital you don't use all the skills. There was one example in the course, I'm not going to tell you that, but it's like they look at me, oh you're a nurse. I'm like, yeah, and how often do you think I actually do that in the hospital? Should I say what it was? Like a foreign body, like this long sticking out of a limb. Really? Where did I see that? Never. <laughs> If you don't work in ER in some, you know, special, uh, I don't know what, even if... Even in ER, I think it would come, we need to have to stabilize it. I think in reality, it would come already stabilized by first aid people. Sure. So it's actually the first aid component. But again, so... I know sometimes I think people assume so much of, oh, <laughs> you're a nurse, right? Or... But even if you're a doctor, but you know what? There are a lot of uh, specialties that go into this medical field. Actually, you can't expect every nurse to know everything about everything, the same as you can expect every doctor to know everything, everything. about other stuff. Like, every specialty now goes so narrow, you know, at some point when you do your work area, and it doesn't mean you know the rest of it, so... Actually, there is a joke in Russian that... Um, the best doctor that you have that know everything, it's a pathology doctor that do you know afterwards because he has to know everything but it's already too late. And, and the doctor that, that know how to do everything but doesn't know anything, it's a ER doctor. So he needs to know how to react and do stuff. So it was a joke. But don't I, freak out people. Don't freak out, it N was a nice joke. Jo nice joke honey. Oh. It's a morbid moment. Oh my. I know. I'm trying to say it in a gentle way. Friend, yeah. Yeah. now it's a little bit inside, uh, nurse, nursing insider. If you go to the field of uh, post mortem operation, most of them covered with women. It's dinner, honey. No. Let it go. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> and a lot of uh, correlation is with food, that's why. I know. <laughs> and she'll tell you why, because it's a clean job. Mm hmm Okay, now let's change the subject. And no one is late to anything, so yeah. Yeah, if you didn't know, that's how you she survived four years of. Uh... Yeah, and you miss that, and you don't know really Victoria. Yes, I'm a registered nurse, but mind you, Victoria in Israel is also trained actually together with me to be a registered nurse. She just doesn't work as one in Canada, so uh, that's hence where the joke's coming from. Yeah, she's. Yeah, I am fully trained, and I work and I worked in ER, mm -hmm. so I even. Mm -hmm. One of those uh, nurses who... Crazy nurses actually want to work in ER. Yeah, can't react very fast to things. No. She can. Mm. 
Yep. So anyway, that's why sometimes those um, jokes moments come and jokes come off, come out. At dinner are. time. Yeah, Arnold is not bothered by it. <laughs> Let's be friends. She's not bothered by it too. Most of the time, she's totally okay with it. Oh, yeah, just... And she's I'm trying she's, to spare you guys. And she's pitching in quite often <laughs> all of these moments. So not that she's not. It just we're, until now, spared it from you guys. And your time has come to be exposed. Actually, I'm watching now this lady. She's a mortician. She's continuing. <laughs> she has, yeah. It's just hilarious videos about, you know, her job and everything else involved. Oh, spooky. I had to do it for the Halloween problem. Yes, guys, don't unsubscribe because she scares you. That's like not going to happen a lot. She has mm -hmm. those rare moments sometimes, once a year. I promise you. Oh, spooky. delicious. Oh my. <laughs> wow. You're on the roll today. Mm -hmm. Why not? It's part of the life at the end of the day. Whether yeah. we want it or not. Yeah, favorite conversation for humanity, right? Yeah. It does, actually. Hmm? And that. And the, this one. I think this is pretty for you. I need to give you a little gold. Oh, good. You have to have goat cheese on top. I have a little bit. <laughs> now you have more. So. Anyway. The <laughs> Do you want to add some? The banana squash is actually tasty. Yeah, I know. She's trying to take me <laughs> away from this topic. I'm not going to continue, it's okay. Let's talk let's talk about love of the baby. baby. <laughs> let's <laughs> talk about you and me. me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not going to sing. Not going to sing. Mm, garlic shot. I think this would spook people the most if we are trying to sing. Not that terrible. Not good, but for... Um, 10 seconds, yes. For 10 seconds, it's okay. <laughs> I'm good, and I'm singing in my head. I don't. I want you to spare you the results it's of because my... she had a nap. So. She had lots of energy. So I didn't have a nap. No, I don't really want it. To. But it's okay. We finished with this for another three years. So well done. No, well you done. genuinely want a nap. There's nothing to do. I just need a nap. <laughs> I know. Lately I didn't nap for like two whole days. <laughs> then Ariel was funny. He said, oh, no wonder how long you're going to survive. It's like, oh, skip the counting. It's not going to last long. Yep, two days. Not a chance. And only because we wake up around 12 p.m. So I didn't wake up at yeah. 12. Maybe 11. I was like 11.30. No, no, no. 10 something something. I know, I don't sleep till noon. Even if I want to. I know, you used to. Maybe Indeed. after a night shift I can sleep better. Let's tell the university stories. Oh. We were totally vampire. We woke up in the night and we did all night and we pulled all night most, most of the time. Uh, uh, sometimes... Um, yeah. I'm so actually... Surprised I didn't go for night shifts a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I had to do night shifts when I was a baby, but then, you know, when you have a little baby in the house, it's a totally different story. Oh. I couldn't sleep before night shift, I couldn't sleep after, I couldn't. It was just miserable. And he was little, and I remember I would come and pass out, and he would come and sit at me and stick his little finger inside in your my, nose. In my nose and my ears, <laughs> like, <laughs> touching my eye was really, well, not inside. But. No, he tried to open it uh -huh. all the time. Like, Ma. I was like, <laughs> Mama, Mama. I know, it was so, it was so, so cute. cute. 
So. But now, actually, I, 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 I so love my nachos. I'm like, why didn't I do that sooner? So mm -hmm. much quieter, so much better. And I'm so... No, oh, wait. Time, like, day time. shifts for me when I have to do day shifts. Oh, my God, I can't wake up. And a lot of time we did private um, sittings in the night. It was nice. It was nice income. It, it was sporadic, but nice. Like, some people couldn't stay for the night, or they, you know, their relative is very, very ill. Yeah, the family paid us. So, family paid us to stay as a, you know, nursing students, to stay for the night with patients. Uh, sometimes they needed something, sometimes people wanted to just to be sure that they are okay. Sometimes uh, you had to do some st some things in the middle of the night, which is that what we were paid for. And it was very nice because, you know what, as a student you always need income, so... Uh -huh. Those jobs were absolutely amazing. We all wanted those jobs. Yeah. So, yeah. So. But all the paperwork, all the learning from, for exams was always done at night. Yeah. But before 10 o'clock, there was no one to talk to. I always, we always brought things to us to learn to, them, to those nights. Yeah, even when we tried to wake up in the morning, remember? We set up an alarm, we wake up, like seriously in the morning, go eat something, and then we sit and literally you feel like you're just melting. And then you go have a nap. Like the, the, I, I remember this very well. The lunch in the hospital starts at 11.30, and we got the opportunity to eat with the, with the nurses and doctors in this food. Yeah, and they would feed us. You pay a little, and you small paid, fee, and you, you paid very small fee. I mean, it was a couple of bucks, and it was full. Uh, yes, and it was full, full meal with options. Uh, like you can choose your um, full buffet. Yeah, like different yeah. salads, different um, first, different. Yeah, and so so Everything. we went to lunch like at eleven thirty, and we went to sleep again, and we woke like in ten or in like nine, trying to learn. No, we waited for lunch, ate, and go sleep. Yeah, and then at night we could learn. It was ridiculous. Like seriously, mm -hmm. the brain would not function. It just couldn't. No. But at night, pure clarity. No. That's why I like my night shifts. I think it's just like whoosh, good. <clears throat> and university professors loved when I was tired because I stopped talking, which is it was awesome for them. Yeah, if I fell asleep like this on um, you know, a desk, if they would will wake up everyone except of me and Regina. Yeah, it didn't happen a lot, but sometimes, sometimes we're just like happen. so tired, we're just like this, and they were so happy. They were absolutely amazingly happy, yeah. So, I think I will finish for today. Yeah. Thank you for listening to our... Blah, 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 blah. Thank you so very much. Good. Be happy. Yes. Uh, be safe. And be, talk about weird stuff. Talk about weird stuff, yes. Weird is our... Superpower! Superpower. So yeah, and don't forget to subscribe, write us a, com write us a comment, thumbs, thumbs up, up as and choose like and, like. and remember, go towards your joy and do and eat something fun every day. Bye! See you next time. See you next time. Mwah.